Hey y'all, I've got another non-fishing slash vlog update, whatever you want to call it video, for those of you who give a crap what goes on in my personal life, or at least pretend to care. Uh, for those of you that like this kind of thing, here's a little update on what's been going on. So in the last video like this, I told you about the car incident. I smacked a deer on the way home the other night, killed that thing and killed my car. Uh, this is just ruined. I've gotten the front end here caved in on it. And unfortunately, my car is really old. It's a 2011, which I've had the whole time I bought it new. And it's got 240,000 miles on it. It's been an awesome car. I've not had any problems out of it. Just normal maintenance stuff. It's been a great car for me. But at this age and this amount of damage, it's just not worthwhile to fix. It would cost way too much to fix it, way more than it's worth to do so. So I've had to get a new vehicle and I've made some progress on that since the last video. The last couple days here, got a lot done. So got a new vehicle, been to U-Haul today, got the hitch put on it so I can haul the trailer. I've, I've pulled my kayaks on trailers since I got this car for the last 11 years. I get a lot of people in the comments asking about uh, getting a trailer hitch on a car and pulling the kayak how does it do how does it handle and it's been great uh, you know the kayak on a trailer it's not a lot of weight and in this car i mean i got a small compact car here you don't even notice the kayak being back there and it's so much better as far as loading and unloading the kayak it really saves your back to do it on a trailer versus putting the big heavy kayak up on the roof of the car in addition to that the trailer pays for itself over the course of time because when you haul a kayak on top of the roof of your car there's a lot of wind resistance up there and so it really affects your gas mileage this car i get great gas mileage in it but when i would when i first got it and was car topping my kayak i was getting 21 22 miles to the gallon when i started pulling on the trailer i'm getting normal gas mileage again i can pull my trailer and get 30 miles to the gallon everywhere I go. So, you know, those gas savings multiplied out over the last 11 years, the trailer pays for itself. It's paying me to use it at this point. So I recommend that to anybody that's got a car. If I can pull a trailer with a Honda Fit, whatever you got, you can probably tow with it. Now I get a lot of looks, people laugh at me. They make fun of me over this car, but uh, you know what? It's I'm not a car guy, I'm not a truck guy, I'm a point A to point B. A car is just a utility to me. And and this Honda, man, you lay, it's, you know, got the hatchback, you lay the back seat down, you got a ton of cargo room in there to be able to put rods up in there, uh, all my gear, everything. So, been a great deal for me, but it's ruined because of that damn deer. And me, about, I guess two, three years ago, because of its age and the really high mileage and the fact that the blue book value really wasn't anything on this car, I had reduced my insurance coverage to just liability only. So I'm not getting a dime out of this dang car. Uh, I'll end up selling it there. I've had people reach out to me from the last video wanting to buy it, which would be more money than what I could get at giving it to a scrap yard or pull apart or one of those type places. So. That's what I'll end up doing with this thing, but uh, uh, nevertheless, it's been a great car. So I had to go shopping for a new one, and I've made some progress on that. You know, when it, again, when it comes to vehicles, I'm not a car person. Um, I just want something with really good gas mileage and something as cheap as possible. And so looking at trucks and things like that, this time in the, in the world history right now, it's a terrible time to be buying a vehicle because of the chip shortage with the pandemic. These, these car lots can't get any vehicles. The, the dealer I went to yesterday, they had six new cars on the lot. Everything else was used because they can't get any inventory. So because of that, everything's jacked up in price. You're paying a ridiculous premium for a vehicle. Terrible time for me to hit a deer right now. But uh, anyway, I did get a new vehicle, guys. I've got a 2020 Honda Fit. I went with another car just like I had because I know it, I like it, and trucks are just so dang ridiculous right now from paying the premium and price to the fact that you don't get crap for gas mileage in them. It was just a no-brainer to get another, another Honda Fit that's 
it's not cheap to buy right now, but cheaper to buy, cheaper to insure, and cheaper to fuel. So anyway, this is a 2020 model, which is the last year that they made this particular car. Um, uh, I would have preferred to get a new one, but I had to go use for, again, because uh, you know they quit making them in 2020. But this one has very low miles. It's got uh, 7,700 and some odd miles. So it was a lease car before I got it. So, you know, hadn't been driven a whole lot and, um, you know, looks practically new. So again, black, just like what I had, tin the windows, the body's pretty much the same. But again, I like this car, even though it looks, um, you know, looks silly me driving the kayak down. I don't know with the glare here, let's see if you can see up in there. But when I lay the seats down, and I don't have a reason to have the seats up. I have all this space here so I can lay my fishing rods. I can put seven and a half foot rods from here uh, in between the seats and have plenty of room for it. Anything I want to store, if I travel, I need to put my cooler and kayak seat and all that in here. I can fit it all in there, uh, no problem. This car does have some uh, fancier upgrades versus my, my old one. It's got... Uh, this screen up here which most of you all watching probably have where it has like a rear view camera when i'm backing up and stuff that's helpful i can also um, answer my phone through the car now that's fancy technology i didn't have before but uh, otherwise this is it this is the new vehicle i also got the hitch put on here earlier today i went to u-haul and got that put on so i can uh, be able to pull the trailer so i'm pretty much back in business now uh, didn't take long um, You know again, it was just finding a matter of finding a vehicle and I went online looked around Got this one in Cleveland at the Honda dealer in Cleveland, Tennessee, which is about an hour from me and uh, You know again kind of had to pay a premium for it I paid more for this two-year-old used vehicle than what I could have got it new for back in 2020 just because of where we're at with the history. So uh, Yeah, y'all that's uh, that's that in hindsight, you know, maybe I should have kept the comprehensive coverage on this car. Um, but, you know, hindsight 2020, how much would the insurance company have given me for this car? You know, who knows? Uh, the blue book on it there when I dropped the coverage was like $1,500. Now, granted, because of the pandemic and all, you can't get this. I couldn't have bought this car for $1,500. But truth be told, the insurance company would have probably valued it as little as possible. So how much I would have gotten in a payout on this car versus how much I would have paid in premium the last two or three years, however long it's been since I dropped that coverage, you know, it's, it, I probably wouldn't have come out that much more ahead in it, truth be told. But uh, anyway, we're back in business. I got another car. I've got a hitch on it now. So made a lot of progress here in a couple days. So not, not as much downtime as what I had initially feared. But thank you to all the supporters out there. I've had people from that last video, they put the little super thanks in the comments there, giving donations. I've had people reach out through the PayPal link there in my video description. Thank you all so much. It is truly appreciated. It's a big help. You know, a, a car payment and um, you know all that wasn't something I had planned for at the present time but life happens, you know, it's just the way it goes. Also, gotta do some clarification. You can't do a vlog video, you can't be talking to a camera anymore without offending somebody. And I have offended some people in my last video, so I made a comment about my trashy neighbors. I, I said that it looked like Clayton Holmes had backed up in a field and took a crap. I wasn't talking bad about people who have mobile homes. Fact is, I grew up in a double wide. My family, my parents still live in a double lot. I got nothing against it. What I do have a problem with is having trashy neighbors, people with, with crap piled up everywhere. They got, I mean, they got stuff out here with their uh, covered up in tarps. They had a dog kennel right next to the fence for a while. They've taken it down. Now they've hung up tarps over here on this fence. I'm just, they're, they're too damn close. I'm not the type of person that needs to have a neighbor. So I'm having a privacy fence come, uh, put up. Uh, gonna run the, the length of that chain link prison fence. I'm just waiting on them to get here. They're supposed to come uh, end of May. Last week of May is when they got me scheduled for. Because they're behind, you know. It's like everything else, they can't get no help. And they got a lot of business. So gonna be the end of May, hopefully. And I'll have an eight foot privacy fence up. 
and the neighbors can do whatever the hell they want to over there. I won't see them. I won't see them at all. So anyway, if I offended you with my comments, I, I apologize, but ultimately you took it wrong. So that's just the, that's the way it goes. When you vlog, if you make a post on the internet, it is inevitable you're gonna piss somebody off because that's the world we live in today. That's why I don't like doing any vlog videos, but I got this following here on the YouTube. A lot of you, again, at least pretend to give a crap what's going on in my life. So I'm keeping you updated. I thought I'd be, you know, missing a lot of time on YouTube if it took me a week or two to get the vehicle situation sorted out, but uh, made pretty quick progress with it. And, you know, I found this car, my mom come and got me and drove me down there to the dealership and, and uh, we've made it happen. U-Haul uh, got me in quick. I had to go to, I couldn't go to the local U-Haul. It was gonna be May 5th before they could get me in, but I went to another one. They got me in quicker. So, uh, you know, everything seems to be working out. So again, thanks to my supporters uh, and uh, we'll get back to doing the regular. This hopefully this will be the last vlog video I do. I may do a garden video uh, later on once I get the privacy fence put up and, and you know block out the neighbors while I'm over there trying to talk to the camera and walk around the garden but uh, anyway y'all I've rambled on for a long time ain't nobody still left watching anyway I'll see you again soon we'll go fishing in the next video I promise